Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolverhampton reporter Mr. Timothy Spears. Tim, Christopher Palace nil, Wolverhampton Wanderers won, and I'm cold, I'm wet, I'm damp, and I don't, I don't care. It's three points. Happy days. I care. It's freezing. It's, it's proper so cold. cold. It's proper cold. Like I, I don't think they. It is. It is freezing. I'm so frigid through. Literally, and that's not just because of the goal. My back, my back is Turn insane. the back, it's a disgrace. It's, really wet. Uh, you, oh, it's soaking, mate. It's soaking, it's not good. Anyway, football, yeah, football. I mean, look, it's just, it just keeps getting better. It's they, unbelievable, isn't it? Three wins just, in four, they just know how to win football matches. Yeah, they just keep doing it. It doesn't matter what the what league it is, it doesn't matter what ground it is, it doesn't matter who the opposition are, it doesn't matter they how they know. play. They just know how to win football matches. And there. they weren't at the best today. No, it was, it was a similar story to Southampton last week, but they're so effective, they're so well marshaled, so well drilled. Yeah. That Palace had a lot of ball today, and, and most of um, the players were wanted hard, but still they barely created really any big opportunities. Yeah. Um, and Wolves have gone up the other end and, 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 and won it and deserved, mm. deservedly so. Mm. Deservedly so. So it's, it's dreamland, you know, six unbeaten, uh, three clean sheets and four. Um, Three points off third. They're up to seventh. Um, and they, they look good for it. And, and there's more to come as well. Absolutely, there is more to come. I mean, Palace did have their, did have their moments in the first half, and they were yeah. probably the better side overall, but, but it was Wolves who were, who were getting them on the counter-attack, especially you know, towards the end of the first half, and had probably the best chance of the half in, in Raul Jimenez. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't the best half for the first half. It was quite poor, actually. Yeah, there wasn't much going on, and Wolves were just quite sluggish. They couldn't keep the ball. Made a lot of sloppy mistakes, just all volleying. Jota just kind of run it out of play. Yeah. Doherty just playing straight behind for, for a corner. It and it wasn't kind of easy, it wasn't easy conditions, but still, you know, you expect better, don't you, from yeah, what you've was, seen? Yeah, the rain is a bit of a level, I suppose, but yeah, they weren't themselves, they kept giving it away, they couldn't get any control whatsoever, which Nuna would have hated it. He would have really hated, hated it. it. Um, it just wasn't it wasn't a Wolves type performance. Yeah. But um, but but they're still creating chances of harm. Mm -hmm. But as you say, Jimenez uh, slipped in nicely by Jota. A really good save by Hennessy. Um, Should he have done better though? I think you credit keeping more for that one. I thought it was a really good save. An okay. excellent block. He rushed out of his feet. Yeah. And made a solid save. Um, but then they came, they came out the second half. Come really Piggott. <laughs> Lester Piggott was in there, was he? <laughs> <laughs> the team today was he? Renewed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Got less giving it up. I know someone called cool Pigger, a lot of Pigger. Um, Interesting. Vigor. Right, Vigor, okay. Uh, she's Wolf Dynasty, I know. Vigor, renewed Vigor. Yeah. Um, and. And yeah, and got, and got the just just desserts. Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, Matt Doherty. I mean, superlatives. We we've given him throughout the last few weeks, and again, a fantastic finish. He's in the form of his career, and um, of his life, and he's loving it, and. I great think, in front of the Wolves fans as well, great moment for him. Nice little knee, knee slide celebration. Superb, yeah, the perfect condition to do the old knee slide. I'm just so I'm so pleased for him, you know, he's come, he's come from League One, he gets better every year, mm. he's so damn consistent, but he's playing, he's playing so well at the yeah. moment. Great goal. And um, Jimenez as well, we talk about him, maybe he's missing some chances, but he's the one who got the assist, put it, it on a plate yeah. for him, that's what he's there for. That's why he's in the team, and yeah, and, yeah it annoys me when fans have a go at him on Twitter and say, oh, when's the new striker coming in January, you know, this guy's... Mm -hmm. Provided three assists in three, yeah. in three matches. Yeah. And scores. Um, scores a couple of goals. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's the assists and the team plays which yeah. wise in the team. Um, and it's so effective. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so um, Doherty kind of drove in from the right flank. Lovely one too. And a nice finish. Low at Hempsey's near post. And it's just, it's a fantastic story. It is. Um, I was saying on Twitter earlier, Cyrus Christie must be a hell of a player. Uh, What's going be, on? He was the unbelievable. Oh, Neil, if you don't um, pick him this week, Martin, I mean, I'm going to... come gonna... on. Um, he's got to play for Ireland. Anyway, that's just that's just ridiculous. Who yeah. cares if he plays yeah, for Ireland? Yeah, yeah. I, I hope he doesn't. So he plays for England. Um, yeah, he can still play for England, but also he won't get injured because he's so important to this Wolves team. Yeah. Um, so he's clean as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I look, I'm so pleased with him to come from, from the League One days, and he's, he's proven himself to be one of the most effective wing-backs in, in the Premier League. And yeah, we still had a little, little Cav sighting as well, and then he scored two and two. So interestingly, he came on ahead of Traoré. Ray. Interesting um, for Jimenez. For Jimenez, and uh, Traoré didn't come on until uh, stoppage time, or, or very late anyway. Um, so interesting that Cavillo gets the nod first, yeah. and he's got to start in two weeks. He has to, um, because Jota J was... Jota was really poor. First half he was he poor. Just, he just doesn't look himself. No. Um, again, just kept coming all the way today. 
lots of fucking mistakes. But, but the one again, I, you know, he's probably going to pick the same team against Watford. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Oh, very dark. Um, Cavalero came on and um, yeah, made a good impact. Hit the bar. Nice little shot. Yeah, yeah. Volley. Um, And then it was then it was it was back to the wall at the other end. Very much the last. Ten minutes. Um, are you going to expect that, was, aren't you, at home, and you it, to defend a lead? I mean, that's that's is, yeah. What's going to happen? It was roll your sleeves up. Yeah. Um, I saw Ryan Bennett hoof the ball clear at one point. Wow! How um, dare he? Which is an automatic uh, two-week wages fine uh, from Nuno. You're not allowed to do that in the Wolves team, but he hoofed it. A few of them hoofed it actually. It was, oh, take the fine. They were throwing their bodies at the ball. It was heroic stuff. Bolly made a superb block at one point. Uh, Patricia made an excellent double save. Well, the, I was going to go into the um, double save. I mean, that was super, that was fantastic, really. It was, yeah. Both, yeah. both of them. It was. It was more that he got up for the second one. Mm. Um, it wasn't like a fingertip save or anything. It was just, it was just a boom, super boom. block, block. Mm. Yeah, he got up really well to block it. Cody threw himself at the ball and injured himself as well. Um, so it was, it was, it was heroic. It was heroic stuff that had to be. And you knew Palace would come on strong. And, uh, they, they were pretty good today. They'll, they'll feel aggrieved to yeah. have lost. Yeah, yeah. Zaha was, was was impressive. Was mm-hmm. lively. Mm-hmm. Um, but Wolves held firm. Yeah, they did, um, yeah. Kept another clean sheet. Um, eight same teams in a row since the start of yeah. Premier League season. No other, no other teams. That's never ever happened in Premier no, League history. Cool. I mean, unbelievable. Yeah. I think he'll probably go nine, you know. I think he will go nine. But you think you, you played Kavanaugh for Jota, you think, against I th- Watford? I think so, I think so. Jota's not contributing enough at the moment. Um, but, yeah, that's that's the one of the very, very few downsides. And look, um, they're going to the international break now, which is obviously, again, a frustration. But they're, they're in great form. But on the other side of the international break, I mean, there's some, some winnable games again, isn't there? I mean, there's no reason why they can't keep this going. Watford got tanked today. Uh, they play their next, uh, next, and it's Brighton away. Yeah. And then it's Spurs at home. And But, uh, but yeah. yeah. But you beat Card- Cardiff 1 0 today. Cardiff are down to 10 men for a long time. They've, they've got obviously Champions League exertions. There's plenty of other stuff going around. Uh, why it's not? Just, it's just it's bring it on, is the yeah. message. Because what was a fearless? Yeah. I'm going to say it doesn't matter who they play. It could be Man City, it could be Crystal Palace, it could be West Brom. Ugh. You know, they, beat, wow. they, they can beat anybody at the moment. Do something the <laughs> um, they, they are just fearless. They, they've carried on with this momentum from last season. Mm. They really, really have. Um, and, and they're all looking to make a name. So yeah. you see it week after week. Um, no, they're all out in London tonight. <laughs> I'll see them there. <laughs> they're, they're, ro- they're riding the press away. Yeah. And they just know how to win football matches every week. After we just keep doing it. Who, wh- when's it going to stop? It's never going to stop, Tim. <laughs> and we're never going to stop. Long may it continue. Crystal Palace nil, Wolverhampton Wonders 1. For all the post match reaction, make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.